All right, so today I'm gonna to talk about something that I've actually kept relatively quiet, um, which is my new wheels. Now, they're pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. They're from D-Robust, uh, which is basically a manufacturer from China. They sell on AliExpress, obviously. I don't really buy anything not from AliExpress if you haven't noticed yet. Uh, but anyway, the reason why these are special is because for the pair, they weigh 1,090 grams, yet, they don't cost too much money. And also, if you want to spend like 700 pounds, you can get them for I think 880 grams and get them laced with extra light hubs. So, that is quite light. Now, this is just like my first review. I haven't ridden them yet. I'm gonna ride them on the weekend and then we'll give some first impressions and all the rest of it. But I thought I'd just talk about D-Robust itself. Um, just to clarify, they gave me free shipping if I made a video, so that's basically what I have in it, so it's not really very much, is it? Um, I was going to buy them anyway. Um, um, but yeah, so they have Bitex hubs here, which everyone seems to say is quite good. Uh, they're basically light, they do the job, there's nothing that special about them. Um, but yeah, I mean, they basically just get them if you want it. the cheap wheels um, and super light. Uh, and then they came with a quick release skewers, which is nice. I don't think they're particularly light. I have a lot lighter ones that I'll use. Um, and they also came with brake pads as well. I don't know if you have to use them. I might use them. We'll see. We'll, we'll see what the MB ones do on these ones, but swapping brake pads out is an effort. So we will see. Um, so the cost, yeah, 350 quid. Now a top tip is that if you pay in dollars and use like a Monza or Revolut or something that doesn't charge you too much an exchange rate, that can be better than if you just buy it straight in your currencies. For instance, for me, it's 350 quid, but if I paid in dollars, uh, which I should have done, I didn't do on this one, um, and then had used like a Monzo or Revolut or something where you, you know your bank account doesn't charge you a lot to change it, you can save quite a lot of money. Um, and yeah, and then the, the only caveat I'm gonna say is like the reason basically I ended up pay, like getting free shipping was because they basically won't ship to you unless it's DPD, which is fine if you know that. And DPD shipping is about 70 to 80 pounds. So just take that into account when you're gonna buy the wheels. They're not 350 quid because they basically won't ship to you without DPD. Because if you don't do DPD shipping, then you can be liable to tax, which is an issue because you don't pay tax on AliExpress on products over 120 pounds. So that's quite good that if you do DPD shipping, no stress about tax, no stress about import duties, they're gonna turn up. Um, so that is something to take into account is that they're not 350 pounds, they're 420 pounds for the setup I have, literally just because of DPD shipping is more or less essential. And if you don't do it and it gets stung, then that's not great and also they can get damaged. So in reality, just factor that into your, into your calculations of whether you should buy them. Time, they did take a long time. I ordered them two months. They took like two months to come. Okay, that was partly because it took ages for me to actually configure it and get DPD shipping and all the rest of it. Um, I've gone for like 3K weave, so you can probably see on the wheel here, like the bit that isn't the brake pad, 3K wheel weave, and then I went for D-Robust as well in the white. You could get black decals. You could probably get no decals if you don't want it. I thought that they did have decals like everywhere, so then it would make your wheels spin. It looks like you're going quicker, but only one decal, alas. Um, anything else about the wheels? Um, obviously, the tubs themselves are coarser speeds, which is nice. Um, the fastest tire around. It's sort of ironic that it cost me about half the price of my wheels, which probably wasn't good money spent. But anyway, I mean, the thing with these wheels is because I'm only gonna use them for hill climbs, they should last forever. Like, they're literally gonna do like 100K a year, if that. So that's pretty exciting. And then the tub glue I used was Continental Tubs. Um, so yeah, and then they were like 100 grams extra for the tub glue, um, which was good. Uh, other thing was, I did weigh them, but I forgot to record it because I have no brains, and they did weigh 1090, which is what they said they did. So that is good, um, because obviously there's a lot of variables. Spokes have plus or minus, hubs have plus or minus, rims have plus or minus, but they did actually weigh 1090. Um, so that's pretty decent. Um, and apart from that, I don't think there's much more to add, apart from the fact that when I whack it on my bike, hopefully it'll be sub six kilos, and also that We'll see how they break. I mean, it doesn't really matter again, the hill climb wheels, but obviously if you're gonna buy different D-Robust wheels that aren't hill climb wheels, you may care if they break or not. But for me, it doesn't matter. All I need them to be is light and stiff, and that's it. So anyway, just watching, hope you did enjoy. I'm gonna try and keep our daily-ish videos for the next couple of weeks or so when I'm at uni, because you know, it's good to get into a routine of things and also get some more views. So yeah, we'll see you in the next.